Hello and welcome to the video. We are finally getting a final done on my 2022 Cancer Awareness Group Build, which is hosted by Bob Boosking, which normally runs October 1st through the 31st, but here it is, middle of December, and I'm getting my final done. Uh, a little backstory on the group build. I am doing the 3-in-1 customizing boat kit, doing an emerald, emerald green for liver cancer, which my grandfather passed away from. He was an avid walleye fisherman, so I thought a boat would be, seem fitting. But then right at the buzzer, I had a semi-catastrophic clear failure on the kit, which really took the wind out of my sails as far as reaching the deadline and just kind of what the kit and group build represented, kind of failing on that. But three or four wet sanding sessions and some polishing, I think we got her looking good enough and looking pretty good. And in front of it, I've got my 55 Cameo, which wasn't part of it, but it seemed like the boat needed to be pulled by something. I'll get her unhooked here, and we will take a closer look at it. All right, now that we got her unhooked from the truck, as that wasn't part of the group build, uh, this is AMT's 3-in-1 customizing boat kit. I chose a boat as I was doing a tribute for my grandfather, and he was an avid walleye fisherman. Although he didn't have a boat like this, it's a a good placeholder for it uh, the color being emerald green which is the color for liver cancer which is what he passed away from and the yellow i chose uh, something different than wood grain because i want to kind of keep a custom boat look the yellow he had a golden yellow square body chevy that he had for many years that pulled his boats and i thought it'd be a good additional tie-in for him and I think the colors all kind of work well together. Uh, let's see. Move on to the interior. I chose my pearl white craft acrylic colors. I really like the, the tone it gives. It's the same thing I used on my custom Pontiac. Gives it a real nice, something different than just plain white. And kind of use a good vinyl shine. Uh, has green walls and there you can kind of see the the carpeting that is embossing powder i use this green embossing powder i really like the the looks of that Let's see if we can get chrome gauges just a little bit of black wash and i think they turned out nice it's kind of a goofy left shift boat got some chrome vents uh, that is Green Stuff World Chrome for the door handles, gas cap, little white light on the rear, and of course we've got our red and green lights on the front to be safety correct. Oh, let's see, where else can we go? Go to the side, I suppose. As you can see, it, it turned out fairly well after that catastrophic disaster that I had. Can't really get a good focus here. Let me pull this tray out. There. It turned out pretty clean. Like I said, it was uh, about three or four wet sanding adventures to get rid of it. Got rid of most of the yellowing and most of the, the crazing and cracking. We can go to this, I don't know, kind of quote-unquote boat license number, SD, South Dakota. That's where I'm from, where he's from. Uh, 0336 is his birthday, and he passed away 03 of 2012. So it's kind of a, a little tribute tie-in there. And on the back, we do have a nice stringer of fish. Go along with the, the fishing theme. So we can, as long as we're back here, got just a, I don't know, black and red for a rudder and the little prop coming out, brass, which was common for the Chris Crafts. Speaking of Chris Crafts, we'll take a look at the engine if I can get her open here. I just went with a kind of correct, if you will, Chris Craft blue. I did wire it up. Give it a little more 
excitement under the hood. It turned out nice. Uh, I guess the last thing would be the trailer uh, as part of it. Uh, this was just a, a plain white with white lightning, testers white lightning. And those are part of the, the kit decals. I did have some more fish ones on the side, but they, they wrinkled as soon as I hit them with some salva set. So they got removed. Uh, the kit doesn't come with the, the trailer lights. I just happened to find something that would work in the old uh, stash box. And I think it adds quite a bit without having lights. And we went with the smooth, smooth moon wheels and the skirts. I like the custom 50s look. So there it is. Finally done near tragic accident in my boat but uh after some time off and some breaks in between i managed to get her cleaned up get her put together and we got her all done so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe we'll see you next time